Now I want us to talk about a shiny metal. Which one you may ask? This one in particular, gold. A metal so precious that in some countries you can tell how healthy the economy is from the price of gold. Now tonight on the Monday Report, we want to continue following for you the Dubai gold puzzle. And the Director of Criminal Investigations, George Kinoti, says he's now on the trail of principal architects of the multi-billion shillings fake gold syndicate. Kinoti said the syndicate included influential businessmen, politicians, lawyers, and senior government officials. And as Hassan Mugambi now reports, detectives have discovered a fake gold smelting center in the Riara area of Nairobi. Another day, another dragnet in the multi-billion shilling fake gold racket that is now threatening Kenya's diplomatic ties with the United Arab Emirates. Detectives probing this scam raiding this residential house in Riara area of Nairobi. They recovered these banners, two gas cylinders and metallic plates in the shape of ingots. According to the DCI, George Kinoti once melted into ingots, the metal with insignificant gold content is then used to lure unsuspecting businessmen. The tenant of this house identified as Abdul Rashid got wind of impending raid and escaped before detectives raided the house. Kinoti said he is now in hot pursuit of the racket operating within Kilimani area of Nairobi. He said the syndicate is composed of influential businessmen, lawyers and judicial officers who enjoyed protection from some senior police officers and corrupt government officials. Also under the radar is Kenya Airport's authority and immigration department officials. With the head of state on this matter. After authentication of the leaked audio recording, the DCI revealed that Bungoma Senator Moses Wetangula is a expected to be someone to record a statement once he jets back into the country. And uh, we've been doing business. Also on Kinoti's chopping board will be businessman Zahir Janda, who has been in the center of the gold scam. Zahir is said to have consulted for a Dubai-based gold merchant who was supposed to ferry gold worth 30 billion Kenya shillings through the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. With investigations revealing the existence of an intricate cartel that is operating within Kilimani, Kileleshwa and Lavington areas, the question that begs is whose protection have they enjoyed over the years to bring up a seemingly unstoppable multi-billion empire. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.